Welcome back to Sporns Row. In this video, I wanted to share with you an experiment that I did with lion's mane mushroom liquid culture. I have made thousands of lion's mane liquid culture jars over the years, and one thing I have noticed with many of the jars is the mycelium will stop growing around this point and turn the liquid culture a dark color. I believe the dark color is caused by the mycelium secreting metabolites into the solution. And one of the reasons the metabolites are secreted could be due to running out of nutrients. So in this experiment I use a sterile 60 milliliter syringe and a needle to extract the excess liquid. When the mycelium doesn't grow up to at least half of the jar, it makes it difficult to make syringes out of it. So in one of my previous videos, I actually used the same method of extracting the excess liquid, leaving behind most of the mycelium, which would allow you to make thicker syringes. But in this experiment, I take it one step further and extract the excess liquid and replace it with new sterilized honey water. This experiment will help me determine if swapping out the nutrient liquid will kickstart the mycelium and allow it to keep growing. So at this point I'm extracting approximately 240 milliliters from the jar and then replacing it with 240 milliliters of fresh honey water. For my liquid culture media, I always use one tablespoon of honey to 600 milliliters of water, but in another experiment I think I'm going to try to use two tablespoons of honey to 600 milliliters of water for lion's mane. Another experiment I was thinking about doing is freeze drying this excess liquid and then testing it for medicinal compounds that may have been secreted into the solution. So here is the fresh jar of honey water which you can see has a much lighter color. I used the same 60 milliliter syringe and a new needle to extract the 240 milliliters of fresh honey water and then I inject it into the jar of stalled lion's mane liquid culture. The only downside I noticed in this experiment is the difficulty in pulling the syringe barrel back. So I'll probably think of a more efficient way to swap out the liquids if it becomes necessary. In one of my previous videos I built a peristaltic pump system that automatically made syringes for me. So I'm thinking something like that would help in this situation.
After only a few days, I can already see the mycelium stretching, which indicates that the experiment was a success and that swapping out the liquids on a stalled jar can help rejuvenate the mycelium for it to continue growing. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helps you if you've had similar issues with Lion's Mane liquid culture. If you have any questions leave a comment down below or join the new discord community which I'll leave in the description and don't forget to like this video and subscribe.